You ready? You ready? Come on. Good girl. Garage door. Uh-oh. Let me pick this up for you. Okay. All right, you ready? Good morning, y'all. This uh, vlog is a little bit of a stressful start, a little bit different. So yesterday afternoon, Cash started licking one of her paws a lot. I mean, she was walking fine. She was still playing, running, all of that stuff, but she was just licking that paw so much. And so last night, um, she jumped on the bed and I looked at it and it is so red and irritated. And whenever I touch it, she's fine. Um, but she does do that little like snarl, like with her lip, like it hurts. And so this morning, first thing I woke up and called the vet to see if they could squeeze her in and they can. So, uh, they can see her at 940. I think it's 930. So I'm just going to take her over there. I wasn't sure if vet offices are like urgent cares. I've never had a pet emergency ish this is i mean i don't think this is a, an emergency but it's definitely i wanted her to get seen today um and i didn't know if i could just walk into a vet's office as i would an urgent care you know like for a human issue so i called ahead of time and they were able to get her in at 9 40. so i'm gonna take her and see what the problem is um i didn't even bother her to get video or a picture to show y'all of her paw because clearly it's irritated and i don't want to hurt her i don't want to to annoy her even more. I've never, like I said, done this sort of thing. I don't know how much this is about to cost me, which is not the problem, but um, I will tell you just so that, you know, we all know how much it costs to take your dog to the vet. I just hope, I just want her to feel better, really, is what I'm trying to say. two doors in here and she can't figure out which one to sniff. <laughs> I know. We're somewhere new. And just like that, we are out of there. So they say the vet thinks that she got stung or bit by something on the paw and that it's infected. Um, so she gave me a couple of different prescriptions to give her and then um, a recommendation on like a dosage of Benadryl in case she gets hives, which they don't think that will happen because we are treating it. We have an antibiotic and then something for pain and inflammation. So we're going to do these two. She acted fine in there, which is good. It cost me $74.25, which uh, let's be honest is a whole lot cheaper than I thought it was going to be. Um, so yeah, I'm happy that I took her. Look at her, so pretty. And she did so good. And we're gonna take her home and give her some yummy treats to take her first dose of medication. And then we're just gonna relax. Um, so I do have a couple of packages coming today. One of them I wanna film a video with. Um, it's a trunk club, but everything, I think everything in my preview that's coming was on like way discounted super sale. And so I'm excited because some of the things were really, really cute. And if they're on sale, then that um, I'm more inclined to purchase them if they're on sale. Uh, so that's the plan for, th for the day. It's Friday. Brian gets off at five o'clock today. Um, he's also off Saturday, Sunday, and Monday this week. Tomorrow he wants to go to the Hun camp and clean the camper. Uh, so I may go with him. It just depends on what we want to do with cash if we want to take her which is not really ideal because who knows what's out there in those woods and stuff um or you know if we think she's okay to stay home she'll probably be fine uh but yeah i'm just glad i took her okay update i am now doing a video uh we're actually going to do target i didn't think these items would arrive in time but they did and i wanted to do the target video first anyways um so i have on this jumpsuit this video is already live, by the way, so I'll link it down below. You can watch it. How cute is this? It's an like active wear jumpsuit. Oh my gosh. 
this is cute. I have so many other cute things to try too, but this is the first thing that I put on and it just fits so cute. Okay. All right, back to the video. It is a while later, but I finished filming the video. I'm headed to my mom's, well, near my mom's because there's a couple of really cute spots for pictures and she's feeling great today and wants to get some sunshine. It's outdoor things where no one else is gonna be. So she's gonna meet me at these couple of spots and help me take some pictures. So I have this blue jumpsuit, I have the overalls outfit, and then I have a leopard print halter swing dress that I wanna do pictures in. So that should be fun. The last time that my mom and I worked together to do pictures, we did maybe New Year's Eve type. I did a holiday sequins party dress type video. And when I'm telling y'all we laughed so hard, I, I could have peed my pants. We had so much fun. So I have no doubts that today will be the same. Woo. <laughs> okay, we're not going anywhere for dinner. It is seven o'clock. I've showered, washed all the makeup off. Uh, Brian just got off work. He's headed home. We're gonna figure out something to do for dinner here. But I think we're gonna watch The Ottoman Lieutenant on Netflix. Let me know if you've seen it. I mean, by the time that you're watching this, we would have already watched it. But he told me to pick out a good movie and I think that's the one that we're gonna watch. Um, so I'm gonna end this vlog today. I'll see you in the morning on Saturday. Saturday. Saturday, whatever day you say, however you say it. <sighs> I'm tired, y'all. So I'll see you tomorrow. Hello, happy Saturday. I'm driving, so I'm gonna keep my eyes on the road, but you can see Ryan. Hello. So this morning, or yesterday, I read uh, that boutique cotton bay clothing that I've worked with a couple of times that I love. They're gonna be at this market at the fairgrounds today. So I thought it would be fun. Apparently, from what I've read anyways, it's a bunch of vendors. Um, and so I thought it would be fun to just go and see what they have. So I'm uh, toting Brian with me. Are you excited? I'm so excited. <laughs> I can't even contain myself. I don't know. The last time that I went to something like this, my friend Laura and I every year go to Christmas Jubilee. I don't know if we, I don't think we went last year though. It's just this big market type thing downtown where a bunch of vendors hang out and you can buy stuff. Yeah, we um, went so, last year. Oh, you and I went last year? Oh. <clears throat> Wasn't much there though by the time we Yeah. Went. So I'm, I, I wonder if it's the same idea, but I thought it would be fun to go and just see um, all the people that are there and like local places and stuff. So uh, we're gonna do that. And then what else are we gonna do today? Gotta get some stuff for your mom's shelf mm -hmm. to build. I've uh, gotta get a couple of things for your sister's um, dog station. And- He's been recruited. Is that what you would say? Recruited? Yeah, commissioned? Say recruited, commissioned. He's been commissioned, commissioned that's a good, to build that's a couple a things one. for yes. my mom and sister. Yeah, and uh, maybe hit the academy, you know. Oh, okay. I did see some boots online. I don't know if they've got them at the store. Did you wear socks? Today? I did. I haven't vlogged anything. I'm sorry. We did go into the market at the grounds, and I ended up getting a cute t-shirt from Cotton Bay. Like I mentioned, y'all know I love Cotton Bay. I did pay for this, by the way. <laughs> um, but I saw Miss Jody, the woman that owns it, working the booth, and she had on the cutest t-shirt, and I wanted to get one. So this is what it says. Be kind. How cute is that? It was $25.99. I got it in a 3X. It's this Bella Canvas brand, and I feel like these are a very generous fit, and I like oversized t-shirts. So... I'm excited for that. Um, we did shop around and look at some other things, didn't end up getting anything else. We had lunch at Brickett's. If you're from this town, you know exactly where that is. And then we ran into, oh my gosh, Tractor Supply. I'd never been to Tractor Supply before. Brian's still looking for hunting boots. And I found a super cute pair of rain. Let me show you, I'm gonna get them out of the trunk, hang on. It's about to pour down pour down. Brian's inside Home Depot. All right. So they are the brand Eastland. They were on sale for, I think 49. Yes. 49.99. Regular a hundred dollars. Holy moly. Okay. But they're these brown rain boots, but they're short. They've got this bit of stretch here on the sides. These are going to be really cute when it starts to cool down. And when it's a little bit rainy outside. I also ordered a pair of black. So 
Soul Society, I think, yeah, Soul Society is the name of the website. They were having, or they still are even today, having a really big sale, and I got a cute pair of black Lucky Brand, like, tiny heeled rain boots, like, shoot, short booties. So now I've got a black pair and a brown pair, and I am set. Brian, like I mentioned, is inside the Home Depot. He is getting some wood. He's gonna make my sister's dog bowl today and my mom's shelf. Um, and then tomorrow, I think we're gonna clean the camper. I think that's the plan because today, if you can't tell behind me, it's dark. It's gonna storm. Do you hear that? It's thunder. So, sorry I didn't vlog in there. It was just, I was wearing a mask. Everybody's wearing masks. I was shopping, like trying to just like keep my distance from everyone. So, anyway. <laughs> yeah, okay, I'll, I'll see y'all later. Oh, I see, I see the guide, kind of. Oh no, I think our TV got struck by lightning. Oh. What do you think? Brian's trying to fix it. He just told me to go put my shoes on. I guess, I guess we're going to buy a new TV. Oh no. To be honest with you, I'm kind of excited about it. He's wanted a new TV for a long time, like a bigger one. And he always eyes like the 75 inch TVs when we go places. I feel like we're about to bring home a Mac Daddy TV. <laughs> I made it to Best Buy. We're near Costco too. So we're gonna look here and then we may go over to Costco and see what they have. That one's very clear. What size are these? Does it say it somewhere? Oh, this one says 75. Oh, 75, I see it. Look at this one. Wow. That's almost real life. Holy moly. Wow. Now we're going in the Costco. Best Buy closed on us. <laughs> uh, plus they didn't have the one that we wanted in stock today anyways. So we're gonna look here. Hi. We're gonna be closing in about a minute, so if you need anything, oh. go back and start there first. What are your TV? Gotcha. <laughs> Thanks. All right, they close in one minute too, so we'll make it quick. What is this sorcery? Okay, we come home. We went to Best Buy, Walmart, Target, Costco. I'm covering the screen because that man's in underwear. <laughs> um, none of them had the exact TV that Brian wanted. Okay. So we didn't end up getting one, but we were gonna order one and we didn't because we were like, let's look somewhere else like across the bay tomorrow. We come home and the dang TV works. Good morning, happy Sunday. Welcome to the hunting camp. So we just got here, Brian's turning on the power and the water. Is that what you're doing? Yeah? yeah. The power and the water to the camper. We're gonna clean today. I don't know how much you'll get to see because we're gonna be very busy. Um, but we're going to do floors, ceiling, walls. There's a bit in here that he needs to rip out. Are we doing, um, like, fixing the floors today? Uh, I'm gonna He's going to see about the floors. Um, so that's the plan for this Sunday. I'm not sure what time it is. It's probably like 1130. It's so pretty out here, too. Look at the sunshine. Oh, hello. <laughs> Riding four-wheelers. Yeah, it's just so nice out here. We brought gloves. I just brought all the cleaning supplies in. We forgot trash bags, but I think Brian found some in there. So that's the plan for the day. We're gonna clean. Okay, I'm taking a break. Oh my gosh. We do have air conditioning in there. It's just so hot. Um, we've cleaned everything. Brian just finished sweeping. He's gonna check the floors and see what he needs to do to fix the floors. I'm taking me a water break because it is so hot. It's also really pretty. Yeah, it's really nice out here though. Um, so yeah, all he says he has left to do is check the floors and see what he needs because there's a couple of soft spots. 
All right, she's all clean. Brian propped the fridge and freezer open because once he turns off the power, I don't want it to get smelly. Um, so he did that. He repaired this right here. This was one of the soft spots. So he took it out and uh, put <laughs> a big piece of wood right there. Um, but I think we're done. I think we're gonna head out. I think he sees something. I stepped out of the camper and he said, go get in the truck. And he's carrying around a piece of wood. Good morning. Happy Tuesday. I know I say that every morning, I feel like, but it is a good morning. We all woke up. We get to see the sunshine or rain or clouds, whatever the case may be, wherever you are. It is about 945. I'm headed to a hair appointment. I don't know what I want to do yet. I'll show you a before and after just so that you can see. I know I don't want the super white blonde anymore. I don't think it's for me. I just, every few years, y'all know this because I've been doing YouTube for a while. Every few years, I want it, so I do it, and I just don't think that it's the best thing for my hair. Um, so today, I don't wanna do the typical that I normally do, but like I said, I will show you. So a couple of, uh, well, one really fun thing that I wanna tell you. My mom called me yesterday, and she is completely cancer-free. So chemo treatment worked, we cried happy tears, I'm so excited. Um, she got the call last week from the surgeon that the pathology results from the left breast that they removed was cancer free. And then yesterday on Monday, they called her with the results from the lymph nodes they removed under her left armpit and they were cancer free. So everything, I am driving very slow by the way, everything that they did worked. Thank God. Woo. Just like a weight lifted off my shoulders. I know hers too. So she wants to celebrate. Obviously I want to celebrate. So we're going to do, she chose brunch at my house on Sunday. So we're going to make, uh, I think she wanted, she said like bacon, muffins, pancakes, like that kind of thing. She, she was also very specific on wanting Bloody Marys. I don't like Bloody Marys, but that's okay. We're going to do mimosas, Bloody Marys. We'll do some fun juicy fruit for the kids, the girls when they come, and we're just going to have a good time. Uh, second thing, Cash has caught on to my antics of hiding her paw medication in turkey sandwich meat. So the first couple days I had some chicken breast from Costco that I actually really like. I put it on salads, but I had a bunch of it um, and it was still good for a while. So I would nuke some of that and put it in a little bowl because she needed food food with her pill, not just a treat, because the first morning I gave it to her with just a treat and she got sick, her, her tummy was hurting. So from then on, I gave it to her with a meal. She doesn't really eat wet canned food every night religiously, so I had to think of another way to make sure she ate it, and that was with the grilled chicken. She loved it, well we ran out of chicken. So I started doing the turkey sandwich meat. And the first, all the whole time, she's gobbled it down, like doesn't even chew it, just swallows it because she loves it so much. Well this morning, I guess she chewed a piece, cracked open the pill, and was real mad about it. Um, like shaking her head, like it, I'm sure it tasted terrible. It's medication. I know what that powdery stuff tastes like. And so then I tried to like put the pill in a different piece of turkey and give it to her. And she was so cautious and like chewed every little piece. And so she, she did get some of the powdery stuff down, but not all of it. And then I even tried to give her a piece of turkey afterwards, like just plain turkey to get the taste out of her mouth. And she like took the turkey into another room and was like dissecting it. So she's real mad about it. Um, so I gotta figure out something else. I think she has, she has tonight and then two more days. And then she's done. But she's, she seems normal, completely normal. Okay, we're done with the hair appointment. I didn't get video of before. I took a picture, I'll insert it here. I also have a picture of all the foils. And then this is the after. It looks much more blonde on video. So what she did was um, a blonde foil and then a brown foil or like my natural hair color. You can see it down there. Um, so she would do blonde, brown, blonde, brown. And so this is what we have. Yeah, it looks very blonde on camera. In person, it's not this blonde, um, but I'm very happy with it. 
I'm very, very happy. So it's now 1235, 1240. I'm going to go and get uh, something for lunch and go home, film a couple videos. And that's it. I'm just so happy. Oh my gosh, it looks so good. It looks so good. Also, while I was in there, I got a text uh, from Bella Rose. So I'm not going tomorrow. So I'm just going to end this vlog here. And um, yeah, that's it. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Be sure to hit the subscribe button. And I will see y'all in my next video. Bye.